Hello friends, this is Durga from IIT Varsity. As part of uh, CCS Park and Hadoop Developer, right now we are talking about um, loading data from HDFS and storing results back to HDFS using Spark Scala. Already we have covered the text file and uh, object file. Um, so in object file you can uh, save it as save as object file and uh, uh, read as just dot object file and you can read the um, files which are saved in object format. And there are additional uh, file formats also, uh, which you can uh, um, uh, save or retrieve in uh, Spark. Um, you can use any of the Hadoop formats. One of them is sequence file. For sequence file also, they provide a function called save as sequence file, uh, like this. So, um, uh, first let us understand what is sequence file, then we will demonstrate how to run it. Sequence file is a binary format. Uh, it stores data in serialized uh, 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 bytes and uh, and typically you need to define what is key and what is value uh, so it, it, the key can be uh, nothing that's where this null write will comes and then each value will be it means each line in the rdd uh, will be saved in uh, as um, as bytes in a file that is sequence file um, um, that's how you can save it as sequence file format. You have to define a key and you have to define a value. Um, if you if you want, uh, I have covered sequence file in detail uh, as part of the PySpark video also. Uh, in this, so I will limit uh, the uh, I will limit myself to the demonstration directly. I will uh, demonstrate how to save a sequence file um, both by using uh, a, uh, null writable as key and also by using uh, 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 custom key and custom value for our uh, uh, data and uh, uh, before getting into that um, uh, spark supports almost all the Hadoop formats as well uh, all the Hadoop uh, uh, output formats as well when you actually do save as text file it will save it as text output format when you save it as uh, 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 sequence file it will be saving it as sequence file output format and there are other output formats also which you can use as part of uh, 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 spark uh, programs or spark applications so if you uh, if you want to save it into any other custom format than the methods provided uh, directly like save a sequence file save as text file save as object object file uh, and if it, it falls in Hadoop, then you need to import this package. So first let us see what this package have. This is the package and you can see that it has classes like sequence file output format and null output format. So if you want to, if you don't want to save anything to HDFS in uh, Hadoop world, we can use the null output format. You can save it as a map file output format. A lazy output format can be used to give custom names to the files rather than uh, using part prefixes uh, to the files. All those things can be used uh, using uh, um, uh, using this package. So not only text output format and sequence file output format, you can use others also. So if you want to save uh, in any other format and that is available, then you have to use this save as new API Hadoop file. You can use it not only to um, to uh, to say uh, to use any other Hadoop formats, but also you can use it for text output format and sequence file output format also. But text output format and sequence file output formats are frequently used. That's why they have provided save as text file and save as sequence file as part of uh, the Spark uh, APIs. So to save a sequence file, you just need to import. Uh, uh, you don't need. Uh, you just need to import uh, uh, two packages. Um, means for sequence file, you don't need to import this one because it is already pro uh, available as a function on RDD. Um, but if you see, we are using uh, functions uh, classes like null writable, which is not Spark class. For that reason, you have to import arg.apache.hadoop.io. It has uh, all the key types such as null writable and also if you want to use save as new API Hadoop file, you have to um, uh, use the text or the integer whatever it is 
and in that case also um, uh, you need to have some Hadoop based uh, uh, classes such as text interlatable etc uh, and hence it's better to import this package or you have to give fully specified path wherever you encounter these uh, Hadoop based uh, classes or interfaces which are used for key value types. So make sure you, you differentiate between the file formats and key value types. This package have the key value types. Key value types is to process the data and uh, this package is output format uh, package which is to say how the uh, file uh, should be represented whether it should be a text file or sequence file um, those type things will be there here. Once you get into the file, how the data should be represented has to be use, um, has to use the classes like null writable, text interitable, etc. And they are part of this package org.apache.hadoop.io. So let's import that. Before that, I have to launch a Spark shell in Scala. And I have to use uh, it's better to use 1.2.1 spark because that is what they have uh, they will be providing at the time of certification uh, as of now so you have to run spark shell and minus minus master local you can e either use lo local or yarn uh, but i i prefer using local because it launches my uh, uh, scala interface faster compared to using yarn but these code snippets will work in any version of uh, uh, Spark uh, uh, Scala. Only there are few things like data frames where, which will not be uh, working in the lower versions uh, the same way as it works in higher versions. Other than that, uh, which is out of scope as part of the uh, curriculum. Other than that, most of the stuff should work uh, whether you are using uh, uh, 1.2.1 or 1.3.4 so now it is uh, uh, we are in and the Scala command line interface for spark and I'm pasting the uh, import statement to import the uh, package IO package and now I want to create data RDD to read it as sequence file first you need to write it as sequence file um, there are Java programs also means uh, 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 Scala programs also um, to save it as sequence file um, uh, but uh, you cannot uh, read a text file as a sequence file if you have to read it as sequence file you have to write it as sequence file first so I am uh, uh, reading the existing data set in text format and then I will convert into sequence file uh, so for that reason I am running this command sc.text file because the existing data is text file user uh, cloud error scoop underscore import and uh, departments okay now I am doing uh, for each println just to show you the data it has uh, uh, I think eight records and uh, the first one is department ID and second one is department number. Now I want to save it as a sequence file. For that I can say data dot data rdd dot save as sequence file sorry first I need to use map function because I need to tell what is the key and what is the value that means i need to do the transformation to do the transformation i i need to use map function here so i want to uh, process each record like this rec dot split comma is the delimiter okay my key is uh, null writable key is mandatory so if you don't want to pass the key then you have to use this one and my value is of a string type which is our text type which we don't need to cast here we can just write the record completely 
um, in the next case we have to use a split function in this case we want to write each and every record directly so save as sequence file and we need to provide the path user cloud error scala spark departments sequence and hit enter I have to have one more bracket in map statement map function I think the um, directory already exists so I have to drop the directory Now the data is deleted, now I can run it and now it has saved. Now um, let us validate <coughs> whether the files are created in that location. And you can see that it has created, it is of size 233 bytes. And if you go to my, uh, uh, the previous one which saved uh, as text format, the size is uh, very small in this case. Uh, it's not there. Let me look at the scoop import. You can see that it's only 83 bytes, but in this case it is 233 bytes. The reason is um, um, when you actually save it as sequence file, it has to store the metadata about what is the key and what is the value uh, for each and every record uh, because it can be variable length and it need not be using the new line characters. Uh, um, as the delimiters for the records. It is indeed specified by uh, the length of the fields internally uh, and it stores that information internally. That's why the size of the file is large and you, uh, if you try to read it, it will not be readable directly. I'm running minus cat command to see what is going on. how the data is represented. You can see that it has stored uh, the information about uh, your uh, key and value and then it is storing the uh, data. It is not as readable as uh, uh, our text format. Okay, so that's how you can actually save it as sequence files. And uh, um, if you want to specify the key and value um, more accurately, in this case, if you want to consider the department ID as key, while saving it as sequence file and department uh, uh, name as a value, then what you can do is instead of directly saving like this, let me delete the di this directory first. Okay, now instead of uh, saving it uh, uh, like this, what you have to do is you have to say rec dot split and our comma is our delimiter. I want to have the first field as the key and the second field as the value. Okay and uh, then um, uh, you can actually say Save a sequence file and hit enter. Okay, there, there is a syntax error in this. Now it's saved, and now you can cat the data. Now you can see that key is text and value is also text. It uh, so in this case it will um, automatically inherit the uh, and, and the types by default it use text um, but if you want to provide custom you can provide custom also so this is how you can actually use save a sequence file and you can save the data 
but while reading the data you have to actually say what is your uh, uh, data type for your key and what is the data type for value uh, like this we will see it later there is third way also to save it as a sequence file that is to use an api called save as new api hadoop file and there is a counterpart for for it which is new api hadoop file if you want to read it um, uh, with specific uh, input format then you can uh, use new api hadoop file and if you want to save it using specific output format you have to use save as new api hadoop file and uh, in if you want to use this you have to import this package deleting the directory from hdfs now i have to import that package and uh, uh, so i am de defining a variable called path here because the statement is a little bit complicated so instead of providing path as part of the function call um, the complete string uh, of path as part of the function call i am passing variable so i have created path variable here and then i am actually uh, defining what is my key type and what is my value type as part of this uh, save as new api hadoop file and then i am telling what is my uh, what is the uh, file form uh, sorry what is the file format i am using by using the class of function and passing the file format okay so now you can run these two statements also to use save as new api hadoop file to save it as sequence file you can use it uh, for uh, a text file also you can say save as new api hadoop file path and then uh, um, i am not sure the parameters you need to pass here because i i never tried because we already have save as text file for this and then you can actually say text file output format and it will save as text of uh, text file output format any any hadoop um, based output format you can actually use to save use this uh, save as new api hadoop file to save so now i'm pasting it here and hit enter it has this additional bracket here paste enter So whenever you specify the classes and parameters for those classes, you have to specify it in uh, square brackets. Uh, earlier it was in circular brackets, that's why it failed. Now it's saved and you can validate. Let me check the path here. The path is the same path. you can see that it saved uh, the file here with the 225 bytes and you can also do cat command to see how the output look like you can see that the key type is text and the value type is also text and also you can see there is the word sequence here which means that file is uh, of type sequence file format and then um, if you want to read it, you can just use sc dot sequence file, or you can also say sc dot um, uh, new api hadoop file also. Uh, so you can uh, go ahead and look for the syntax to use new api hadoop file to read uh, of, uh, to read using any format uh, supported by hadoop. But in this case, I am just uh, demonstrating using sc dot sequence file. First, you need to give the path, and then you have to tell what is the key type and what is the value type and then you can uh, uh, you can convert it into string so that you can actually uh, print uh, the output so q 
it enter sorry i pressed in wrong window and hit enter now you can see the data the way we have so stored so that's how you can actually um, uh, save it uh, save and um, uh, read the uh, text files or uh, uh, even the sequence files or any other files that are supported by a um, by hadoop within the spark so spark uses hdfs as the underlying file system as long as you are using hdfs all the output formats that are that are supported by hdfs can be used as part of your spark applications that being said um, there there will be another video on this in which we will be seeing how we can actually read data from high view tables um, and also um, there is a and also the json is quite popular in uh, these days so we will also show you how you can actually read and write the json files within hadoop um, as part of next video i hope you are enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide uh, any feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to ask any questions uh, on uh, uh, any technical questions please use stack overflow by tagging it properly and if you want to discuss on certifications, please uh, do join uh, ITVersity Hadoop certifications. And if you want to discuss on Apache Spark, please join ITVersity Apache Spark LinkedIn groups. Um, and if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.